Hi guys, Adam McCauley here. I'm with Adam outside Old Trafford. Adam, United won today. Yeah. How are you feeling after that? Um, Herrera was superb. That's, that's all I can say. I mean, United as a whole, that is the most comfortable I've seen them all season. Bar none. I mean, I tweeted that at half time and I was hoping that we came out and delivered that in the second half. And it wasn't as good. It was a little bit slower, wasn't as attacking, but it was comfortable. I mean, Spurs didn't turn up, but Herrera was everywhere. I mean, it looked like there was 11 Herreras on the pitch. Everywhere you looked, it was absolutely everywhere. There was, there was a point in the second half, I was saying it before to the lads, there was a point in the second half where we were playing it out from the back and everyone was getting a little bit nervous. And normally this season, you'd have had your right back, Valencia out, maybe Blint out left, and De Gea trying to play the ball to one of those two. And Herrera found himself in both the pockets, both times. He was on the right-hand side, then on the left, and we managed to play it out comfortably. And that happened everywhere, in the middle of the park, up top, at the back. And I just thought, it, having the three in midfield, Carrick, Herrera and Mata, just makes it a little bit easier. It's not as one dimensional. You know, you can get those triangles, you can get those passes going, you can make space. When you've only got two of them, they've nowhere to go. There's not the, the same, exactly. There's not the same, you're not on the same wavelength. You've got kind of a confusion of players. And I just thought we, we had everything today. You know, we had possession, we had composure, we had energy. Um, and I think we were just, we just looked like we wanted it a little bit more than Spurs did today. And given, given the results that have happened this weekend, all of a sudden it changed out two points behind City. Come on, six I mean, clear of Southampton, exactly. six clear of Spurs. Exactly, and that, that could have been completely different. You know, coming into this weekend, everyone's looking, thinking we're going to be dragged down fifth, sixth. And we've, we've set ourselves a nice benchmark now going into the next few games. Because that, that game on Monday night against Arsenal, second half was poor, was really, really bad. And, and you'd expect this season from United to come out next game and still be a little bit sluggish and, and carry that same poor tempo on. And we came out today and we absolutely nailed that first half performance. And I'm glad that he didn't make any changes at half time because we, we managed to keep that composure throughout. You've said a, you've said a lot there, a lot I agree with you. You, you. you spoke about Ander Herrera at the beginning. Does that make it more confusing that Louis van Haas seems to pull him out first when things are going wrong Without as he did doubt. against Arsenal? Without a doubt. I think the guy has got, for, for someone who is, is only slim, you know, he's probably only he's probably smaller than me, and he gets himself everywhere. He gets about. He gets tackles in. He gets the. He gets. He's. He's the kind of player that we've, we've been crying out for. Yeah, okay. He's not. He's not big built. He's not gonna. He's not a. A Vieira or a Keane, but he's got the same mentality and he's got the feet. He's got. He's got the passing range of matter. You know, there, there was variety today, which I think we've lacked all season. You know, I, I said um, after the Arsenal game that we just we had no variety whatsoever. You know, we've, we've no variety with Di Maria with his feet. It's all left foot, same with Ashley Young, all right foot. It was all long balls on Monday, and today we had a little bit of everything. We had crossfield ball, we had interlink, and we had half turns inside and out. And Tottenham just didn't know where to play. They didn't know what to do. And Fellaini in the channel in the first half was superb, to be fair to him as well. He was absolutely spot on.